Weekly ranked some primetime cable shows, and it's looking grim for CNN. Fox News programs, including The Five, Tucker Carlson Tonight, The Special Report with Brett Baer, and Hannity, took the top spots with each show gaining millions of views a night. And other Fox programs followed suit until the 18th ranked program MSNBC's Deadline White House. CNN doesn't appear on the list until the 25th, 25th spot, excuse me, with their noon show, Inside Politics, which pulled about 900,000 viewers. On top of it, the chart also show, showed that more viewers tuned in for rerun 1 a.m. episodes of Tucker Carlson than they did for Don Lemon tonight at his primetime slot. So, yikes, not looking so good for CNN. I mean, uh, this is, I think, voting really poorly for Democrats in general, not just, uh, I mean, I, I think this is like showing the midterms are going to be a disaster in probably 2024. Or, That's or, true. Yeah. But, but it's all That's true, she says. I got a lot of respect for Brianna. I think she's really, really good. She's really, really smart. And I highly recommend anyone that wants to understand better about the people on the left in terms of what they think and their views and their ideology. And you want to hear good faith representation, definitely listen to bad faith. Um, she's not the only one to listen to, but sh I think she's a good, good source to listen to. But on this one, wow, she's agreeing with that ridiculous statement. So l l l let's just process this. And before we continue, I just want to let you guys know. I'm not one of these partisans who are in this echo chamber to where, like, you're on the left, the Fox is just automatically racist, and it's nothing but trash. Somehow you think Fox News is Tucker Carlson and, and Ingram and all these clown shows. Like, you don't understand the trick that liberal media plays by focusing on the trash opinion shows and ignoring the Fox News shows. In fact... They will actually highlight the Fox News shows and they'll do there's tons of videos with tons of views that from liberal channels that will say, you know, Fox hosts uh, roast uh, Donald Trump or or something like that. Right. So anyway, I am I'm well aware that on some things, Fox News is actually much better than CNN and MSNBC. But before we continue, I want you to understand where where I stand. I look at Fox News, CNN, MSNBC as bottom of the barrel. This is so, sort of fast food for news media, right? If you want to watch corporate news, which they all have their issues, ABC News is the one that I would recommend. That's much, much better than CNN and MSNBC. MSNBC is like a left-wing Fox News, at least they try to be. Right. So I look at them all as trash. They're propaganda networks. They're pro establishment networks. Um, and I put Tucker Carlson in that, even though you'll hear ridiculous assertions that he's anti-establishment. Uh, I don't think so. So that's where I stand on this. But the statement about that, this this is a, a bad look for the Democrats, that the, the, the midterm. I mean, the, they are going to get slaughtered in the midterm. That That's kind of obvious. But to connect this with that. OK, first of all, this is nothing new. Fox News has been dominating in the media business for a long, long time, right? And under that climate, Joe Biden won. Under that climate, Obama won. Democrats have won, right, many times, all the while Fox News is dominating, right? So that's, that's number one. Like, that's, that's such a ridiculous assertion. Number two, why is Fox News dominating? I mean, these are all folks in the media, and none of them can figure out why a single massive corporate news network that caters to a conservative ideology would dominate over any single one of the dozens and dozens and dozens of liberal corporate news networks. I mean, does the term consolidation mean anything to anyone? I mean, if you're a conservative and you're looking for a corporate news network to watch that's on your TV and not some YouTube thing or whatever, you've got Fox News. Right now, some people may have Newsmax or whatever, but generally speaking, Fox News is what you have. Right. So conservative over here wants a, 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 a corporate news option. It's Fox News. Conservative over there wants a, a corporate news option. You've got Fox News. Right. That is the corporate news option for folks who are conservative looking for a corporate news option. If you're a liberal looking for a liberal news option, you've got CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS. I mean, you've got so many options. There's dozens and dozens of these you know, networks that will cater 
to people who are of the more liberal leaning. So just a simple math. If you've got all the conservatives watching a single show, all three million of them, and then you have a dozen liberal media networks, right? What do you think is going to happen? How on earth are any of them to get three million viewers to watch their show when there's dozens of other major corporate news networks? The math doesn't follow. So if you do simple math, a single Fox News show that gets three million views, and then you get three liberal media shows that only get a million, a third of what Fox gets, but wait a minute, what is one million times three? Three liberal networks getting one million views for a show, that's three million views. So it's not that there's more people watching the conservative Fox network, it's just that they have a consolidation of ideology. Right? They, 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 there's no other major corporate news network like Fox News to compete with them. What if Newsmax, Blaze TV, and all these other networks that are out there were on the level of Fox News? Do you really think Fox News would still have all those views? All those three million people watching The Five, you really think that they would all still be watching The Five if they could just flip through their channel and pick and choose to watch like dozens of other major conservative TV networks. Obviously, everyone got different tastes. Not everybody's going to like the same thing. I mean, if you turn on your TV, typically you're conservative and you want to watch conservative viewpoint in terms of cable news, Fox is all you have for most people. But let's not be stupid. I mean, if you really had, you know, seven different conservative, you know, major corporate news networks. You really think that everyone would just, like Fox News is so special that it's, oh, I don't want to watch it. Like Fox News, somehow, like, they're, no. There could be some people who want a network that's more, like, far right. Some, some will want one that's more moderate. Some will want stuff that's more, you, you, know, sens you know, sensational stuff. Some will want something that's more reserved. Some will like some, you know, the people, people like different things. Right, but when you have a monopoly like Fox News, like Google, like Twitter, right? Of course you're gonna dominate. Like, duh. And this is not new. None of this is new. That Fox has all these views and the reason why. But these people are in the media, and none of them. These are three people. You mean to tell me none of these three people know anything about this? This is this is their business. I don't do this for a living, and I've known this for years. It's not a new topic. Like, oh my goodness, Fox gets more. Like, what? What the hell is this? 2001? Also feels like a more, just take politics out of it, which is not a thing that most people probably say when talking about competing news shows. I will say the liberal channels are not as engaging. And as someone who does independent media, who's always trying to figure out what generates clicks, what engages people, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that there is absolutely no ideological diversity on those liberal networks. I don't know that liberal news channels are not as engaging. I see the same, you know, just hyper partisan BS that you get, the, the stuff you get on Fox News. I see the same stuff in liberal media, right? In, in, on Fox News, you've got Tucker Carlson and Hannity and, and all these clowns to get up there and, and the buzzwords and this and that and cancel culture and woke, woke, woke and Disney, whatever, whatever, right? pandering to the views of their audience, right? All the sensational, oh, look what Joe Biden did, and they're burning down these cities, like, right? And what do you see in liberal media? The same stuff, right? They, they, the same buzzwords, the same, like, pandering. How is it that Fox News is more engaging by doing the exact same thing that liberal media is doing as far as, again, pandering to the ideology of the audience, the sensational stuff, oh, Trump this, and, and Trump might have had a Pete tape, and, and how how... How is that not, not engaging for, for, for a, a super partisan audience that they're targeting? And obviously it is engaging because we may want to, again, play games about the views, but they're not, they're not short of views. Right? They're not doing very well. Their views are down, but they're still getting a ton of views. CNN can still get millions of views, not consistently like... Steven Crowder, right, who's suppressed by liberal media, I mean by this liberal channel, liberal network, 
right? And that allows him to get, you know, millions of views more consistently because of the suppression. But on CNN, sarcasm. On CNN, they don't get it as much, but they can get it, right? Their 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 views are nothing to laugh at. If you just want to look at it in isolation and compare it to Fox News, then you can say, oh yeah, oh look at Fox News getting three million and CNN is only getting eight hundred thousand. Then that means that CNN is on par with Fox News. Because again, CNN is competing with all these dozens of networks. Fox News is not. If you were liberal and the only option you had was CNN and you conservative, the only option you had was Fox News, do you really think the numbers would be the way they are right now? But Fox News, I, I read a study some years ago, Fox News is more inclined to have a leftist on than MSNBC and CNN. It usually has a uh, liberal on its panels that I think is representative of what liberalism is, for better or for worse, as opposed to the uh, CNN MSNBC shows, which tend to have like a never Trump Republican, which is this anomalous thing, which is basically just a neoliberal Democrat at this point. And you don't get the kind of spice and engagement that you get when you watch Fox News. So this is 100% accurate. For the first time in this episode, we are hearing reality, an informed reality. What she just said, 100% accurate. A lot of folks on the left won't be aware of this because, again, the games that are played in left-wing media. They paint Fox News as Tucker Carlson. That is the very bottom of the barrel of Fox News, which is why left-wing media likes to focus on that. While they're focusing on that, the people in the news division, not the opinion side, are, like she just said, many times having legitimate liberals on their network, right, who are making pretty solid arguments to defend their side. When I say solid arguments, I mean, as opposed to on CNN, you have someone who is just kind of pretending to be on the right, Right. It's, it, it's, it's just really, really fake. Like it's 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 almost as something like you, you get someone who's not a conservative, doesn't understand conservatism. And then you just have um like kind of uh, be give an impression of like a conservative. Right. So eh, but this eh, but that's a woke thing. And, you know, and, and it's just like not that not that that's not something you'd hear from a conservative on like Fox News. You know, the woke thing. But the way that they would do it on CNN it would just kind of be like, eh, I don't know. I, th I think you're trying to, to, to imitate those folks on Fox News or just be on the right in general. I like keep talking about woke, whatever. But the way you're doing it is not the way that they're doing it. it. It sounds to me like you don't really believe what you're doing. You're just playing a part. When I watch liberals on Fox News, generally speaking, they seem to be legit liberals making the, the arguments that you would see from legit liberals. Right? So, in other words... On watching Fox News, not the opinion side, that's, again, bottom of the barrel, watching the news side, you can actually listen to, like, as, as a conservative, you can get a good representation of a liberal viewpoint watching Fox News. Now, if you're watching MSNBC and CNN, you are not going to get a very good viewpoint, um, generally speaking, of what conservatives are like and what they're about. Now, that is with exception. There is There has been some good work on some stuff there. But generally speaking, I've seen, as someone who watches, because that's the thing, I, I, I critique both sides. So I watch, I've watched a lot of Fox News. I've watched a lot of CNN and MSNBC. And time after time, I keep seeing the same pattern. These legitimate liberals on Fox News and the absence of that on CNN and MSNBC. So 100% correct on that one. News. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> I mean, Fox really figured it out. I remember... Of course, Clueless Kim disagrees with that. Right when... So in the 2016 election... So if you remember, Fox was a little... Was somewhat Trump skeptical and Trump hostile. Obviously, some of the commenta commentators, Hannity for one, were very pro-Trump, although pro-Ted Cruz and pro some other candidates from the get-go. But there was a lot of... You know, this is around the Megyn Kelly time, right? There was some hostility to Trump. And at that time, you saw a lot of... Uh, you saw a lot of more pro-Trump media outlets not competing cable channels, but just competing kind of in the conservative media, like Breitbart, for instance, really came on strong. And I think Fox, Fox learned from that experience mm -hmm. and changed courses, started giving its viewers more of the programming that they were looking for, and then just demolished, just walloped, destroyed everyone. They own this, this, this spot now, and uh, there's, they're really just doing a, a terrific job of, of, of giving their viewers the kind of, of commentary, the kind of programming that they, that they want to watch. And also, you point Which is basically what CNN and MSNBC does. 
right? That that's what they do. They know that their audience loves the 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 anti-Trump stuff, right? The the rules racism, the racism stuff. Like that's the stuff their audience gravitates towards, and that's why they keep de delivering. It's the same thing that Fox is doing, right? I don't know why these media folks don't are not aware of that. I mean, we could go to CNN right now and let's see, let's see the let's I'm going to go to a random CNN video and let's see the audience complaining like, "Hey, this is not what we want to see. Uh stop talking about racism and and Trump or whatever." L let's see if that's what we see or do we see them saying, "Yes, this is good. Yes, CNN." <laughs> you know, go after those Republicans. So we're going to go to CNN. I'm just going to pick some random videos and we're going to see what the audience has to say. Let's see all the complaints because Unlike Fox News, CNN is not pandering to their audience, you know, giving them more of what they want, right? This is a business. They're, they're not going to be putting out content that's not making them money. They do the stuff they do because it makes them money. Fox does the stuff they do because they, it makes them money. Kim Iverson does the crap that she does because it makes her money, right? They're not just telling the news. They're maximizing profit. So I'm going to look for something that's uh, sort of a political whatever let's see you know what let's let's let me look for their typical gold mines let's say racist something right they love racism okay there's don lemon doing his thing let's see all the all the liberals complaining about don lemon <clears throat> release tapes feature uh ronald reagan using a racist slur ex-trump executive he's racist daily harvest you make eating veggies so Ready to start eating health. So we sort by top comments and let's see what the audience has to say. Kudos to this dude. If you're not anti-racist, if you're not actively calling out racism, then you're allowing racism to spread unabated. Bravo to the driver. They love it. 2,000 likes. The lack of hesitation to throw them out was impressive. As a black man, this breaks me. They, they love it. They love it. 665,000 views. 26,000 likes. Dishonest actors will say, On the heels oh, of it's probably all bots. Right. So here they're talking about Ronald Reagan using slow words. Let's, let's see. You guys keep talking about racism. You know, we need something more engaging. This is a checkmark person commenting. Yeah, this, you know, this should not surprise anyone. Damn, that guy's naturally born to listen to tapes. His ears are huge. Okay, just a random joke. Interesting comment. I guess I won't vote for Ronald Reagan in 2020. <laughs> All right. Like that one. Generally, people are agreeing with this. Lots of engagement, which is the point to get maximum engagement, maximum clicks. This video got 607,000 views, 6,000 likes. Ex Trump guy, whatever, blah, blah, blah. 9,000 likes, a million views. So, interestingly enough, well, of course, this goes viral, right? Although the views, for some reason, are not really representative of that. Because you got much more views on this than any other video. The Lyft driver. 26,000 with only half a million views. Then the million view video only gets 9,000 likes. Another half a million view video gets 6,000 likes. But generally speaking, I don't see a bunch of people complaining about this stuff. They're doing the same stuff. If you're watching Fox News, you want to hear about the liberals. They suck and the, and the Democrats this. And look what Joe Biden did. And all oh, the fuel prices and the gas. Inflation, inflation. And, and the Democrats, they've gone too far left. This is a woke culture and this is and cancel culture. And they're coming for our guns. Like, right? That's what you want to hear. And that's what they give you. That's the most engagement. People watching and they have an emotional response, which is what they do on MSNBC and CNN. So I, I don't know what this idea is of like, oh, Fox News is, is, is more engaging than, than, than liberal media. Like, what? When this outcome that I think many liberals feel like they have to watch Fox to understand what is going on on the right, that the Tucker's monologues are such an essential, um, are essential to understand. Most liberals do not care to understand what's going on in the right. That is not a normal position. Uh, same thing with folks on the right. People are generally not focused on understanding the other side, right? It's, 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 I'm in my tribe and uh, all that matters is what my tribe is all about, right? My tribe believes in this, then I believe with this. That's, that's my position, right? I'm just going along with the motion. Those other folks on the other side, they're just crazy. Like that's the American position. Whether you're conservative, whether you're liberal, that's the way we look at things. 
only few and far between you have people who will actually have an honest curiosity to understand people that have different, you know, ideologies in them. And that's who he would be referring to. But that's not the norm. This is the Debate Me channel. That concludes part one of two. Link in the description for part two. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you for watching. Click on the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, isn't this the guy that plays uh, that android from Star Trek? Anyway, oh, no, the creator of the android. You know what I'm talking about.